I finished chemo on the 10th of February, and this four-week run-up to surgery has mostly been a whole lot of this, snow. But it's been nice to get out more. For instance, we had our great niece Nadine's eighth birthday party to celebrate. But I feel good. I, I don't have really too many. My fingernails just still hurt a little bit, but my my tongue isn't bothering me really anymore. My taste buds are kind of coming back. I had a little bit of hot sauce yesterday, and that really wasn't that bad. So I'm excited. I did the hot sauce 101, the, just the Franks or whatever you call it. Crystal, like a crystal sauce. I'm not going to try the Tabasco yet not until, I don't know. I'll just try a little bit at a time. Because it's going to take time. It's only been a week. This is my second week of no chemo. So now we've just come out of the hospital. In the admitting area I had to be tested for my pre-op and uh, it was really nothing. She just went over medicine. What I can and cannot do before, seven days before my surgery, I can't be taking all these different drugs and vitamins and stuff. The only thing I can take and be safe about is the Tylenol. But um, now we're finding out that this building, they're showing the picture right here, and it's gonna be convenient entrance for patients having surgical and interventional procedures a new location for the heart vascular center and the transplant center. So that's what this is going to look like. Jeannie just let us in this room, this conference room. But I've been texting my friend that had surgery last Thursday. She had the same thing that I'm going to have done. And uh, just checking in to see how she's doing. So she said that every day she feels better. She's in her own bed tonight, last night. So she felt good. That was a good thing. What you reading? A bunch of stuff. Yeah? Yeah, it's a lot. And what is it? Stuff before the reconstruction, before the, you know, for the expanders to be put in. What All about the legal it? stuff that we think that could happen. I could have dog ears. <laughs> Not start barking. <laughs> So what'd you learn? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> that I can't exercise for a long time. Like six weeks, she said. So that's not good. Walking, that's it. A little bit of walking here and there. I'm gonna be very tired, I'm gonna be exhausted. I'm gonna probably sleep here and there at the drop of a hat, maybe. Drains? Drains learning about emptying the drains. You always want them elevated. I have special um, vests to wear. And then you have to keep them, you have to wear a necklace around your neck. Keep them pulled up. And then the butt looks like a turkey baster? Yeah, it looks like a turkey baster. you got to wear these necklaces and then you hang the you have a safety pin, you have to have the drain hanging up because you only have like a little stitch in and then these tubes will be hanging down and there'll be probably two on each side, one for each breast and then one underneath the armpit maybe for the axillary lymph node stuff. So, that'll be fun. And then we got little sheets. You gotta keep track of the how much drain you had on each one. How many cc's did I do? <laughs> and I got little you know, wipes that I have to use after I shower the day before surgery, an hour after I shower, hour after I shower, then I have to wipe with this lotion stuff. Very early Thursday morning, we woke up to the sound of fire engines, the second major fire on our street in two months. This time, it was Mitchell's school. The elementary gymnasium is a total loss. They still don't know how it started. Yeah, Mark, 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 Mark. Oh, that's so sad. Is that like a science room or something? Do they know? Oh.
The following Monday, instead of driving to the hospital, we drove to Oregon, Wisconsin, not too far from Madison. There's a good Volkswagen diesel mechanic there. While he worked on our car, we killed a few hours in downtown Oregon. There's your library. We're going to go in there. Are you happy? Yeah. I love libraries. <laughs> These are evidently teenage chairs. See, there's the sign right there. We're in um, downtown Oregon, um, in the little square of, of Oregon, Wisconsin. Um, we spent a couple hours at the library, which was very nice. And now we're walking around. I'm looking behind me this Senior Peppers Mexican restaurant. So you got a few restaurants right in the heart here. This was a nice place to come. And um, over here we have this tower. We were going to walk over toward that tower. Did you want to walk over toward the water tower? Yeah. Shall we walk this way? <laughs> Let's walk this way. Okay. Well, there's the bowling alley over there. See it? Kind of a cool sign. City water. Oregon water tower and pub house. 1929 to 2010, in memoriam of Joan Mary Gefke. So you're recommending that manifold getting clean? Yep. Getting yeah, there's replaced? A few things, you have uh, to replace cleaned, it or you clean it? Cleaned, but the EGR valve is starting to leak pretty good. This valve should be replaced. Oh. They're not that expensive. Well, the Volkswagen are. Okay. They're like 500 bucks there, but they're only like 190. Right, okay. Cool. I got a list, I'll, I'll write down the Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 okay. I got hair coming in. Especially like that sideburn area, yeah. It's kind of kooky. <laughs> My friend Jeff and I were best friends for almost ever, like up till junior high. We were oh, together I all the time. I saw him the other day, but after when I got when I lost all my hair, I'm like, oh my gosh, here's these scars, <clears throat> and these little scars up here are from him, me, and Tommy, and Jeff, and Jay, and Danny. I was the only girl. No, all these boys in the neighborhood, girl. <laughs> and because uh, there just were no girls around, so we were digging a hole to China. <laughs> had Tommy's yard was crazy. They had craziness in their yard and everything we had a toolbox, we put a piece of wood on the toolbox like a teeter totter. <laughs> so Tommy and I are on the teeter totter and I went back and I was like, oh, you know, what is that when you say Simon let me a Buster oh, Brown. Buster, Buster Brown, Brown let me down. down. So I'm like laying back on this this piece of wood and Tommy's up in the air and Jeff's over there digging and digging and he's got this claw that you oh, dig into the ground. Goodness. You know those three hooks. Right. <laughs> We're right in my head. No, and I, I was like, I was wondering there oddly, and and all of a sudden, oh, and and he felt so bad that well, poor I mean, kid. He, yeah, and I went. The so surgery is here, and uh, the last couple of days I've been going through a little bit of a. Uh, separation type anxiety, thinking about how my body's going to be different. Um, but I'm ready to get this underway and uh, get this all behind me and uh, go forward to the next stage.